Morning everyone, back again. I hope you're all doing well. I know it's difficult times for everyone and sometimes it's hard to keep our mood up. We we'll always remember exercise is fantastic. We release the endorphins in our brain and we feel happier. So if you get a chance to get out for a little walk, keeping your two meter distance and within the two kilometers of your home or even exercises, lots of programs on the internet. And as you know, Joanne has done this fantastic gym workout. I have to say, I was very impressed. I can't do half of the stuff, um, but I am working on it. Um, so keeping ourselves physically well is great. And then mentally, if we consider others, that can be wonderful. And I think we probably all know someone who's lonely at this moment. So by even just giving them a call and making their day, we can lift our own mood. Another thing that's really important to do at this time is to have purpose each day. So I would like to propose to you that you would try to make or go and make pear and almond scones. So today I'm going to show you the recipe. We're going to go over it again. It's as easy as pie, literally. It's our basic scone recipe, which is a pound of self-raising flour with a pinch of baking powder, four ounces of butter rubbed in, one egg and 200 mils of milk. The egg is cracked into the milk and mixed with a fork and you mix it really well. You don't just stir the egg around that the egg white doesn't break up. You mix it really well so it's like one liquid. And then a half a teaspoon of almond essence because we're making pear and almond scones. So the basic scone recipe is a pound of self-raising flour, a pinch of baking powder, four ounces of butter, rubbed in till it's butter, like, like breadcrumbs. Then two ounces of sugar, 200 mils of milk with one egg, all mixed into the dry ingredients, and you mix it up and then turn them out and bake them. And then you can make those scones any way you like. The last day we made fruit, I think it was cranberry, coconut and lemon. So today we're making pear and almond. So I've chopped up um, a, one and a half large pears into small little bits, okay? So I've chopped them up into small little bits, so they're ready to go in when we're ready to add uh, the, the, next, the second step, basically. So the first step, I have my see-through bowl, I have them half rubbed in, my hands are well washed. I'll just do that again. And um, I'm gonna finish rubbing in the butter into the flour uh, until it's like breadcrumbs. So you lift it up and I'm rubbing. And this is useful for so many things. This, if you're making pastry, if you're making crumble, if you want to make an apple crumble, um, or if you're making scones. So this, when you read in a recipe, rub the butter into the flour, that's what it is. So I'm pushing my thumb along my fingers and the butter is literally rubbing into the flour. So I end up with something that's very like breadcrumbs. And that just takes a couple of minutes. If the, have the butter out of the fridge so it's soft. Don't have it runny and oily, but if it's soft, it takes much less time to get it rubbed in. And I, you see I'm bringing it up into the high so the air gets into it. So these scones will be deliciously light. And you'll know that from before. Lots of you have made them already at this stage. You'll know that from before. So again, our basic recipe, a pound of self-raising flour, a pinch of baking powder. And we're using baking powder because we're using the sweet milk. We use bread soda with buttermilk, okay? So by sweet milk, I mean ordinary milk. So a pound of baking powder, um, a pinch, sorry, a pound, oh, a pound of baking powder, oh my God. A pound of self-raising flour, a pinch of baking powder and four ounces of butter rubbed in so you can see this now that's really like breadcrumbs so that's what that's like and it's really light again you want things to be light then i add in uh, two ounces of caster sugar and that's my big spoon two ounces of caster sugar and i have two ounces of flaked almonds so flaked almonds are almonds that are cut up into little flakes okay and i'm just going to mix that in so that's all well mixed in. And then I have my one and a half pears. And I'm mixing that in too. I'm going to have that nicely mixed in and mix that all around. And then in the jug, I have my 200 mils of milk and a half a teaspoon of almond essence and my egg. Now the pears are moist. So 
this could end up, I need to make sure this doesn't end up too sloppy. Scones with the mixture, we want it to be a, a reasonably firm mixture that we could put out on our top and form into scones and be able to cut into shapes that will hold. It's unlike the brown bread, which we want to be sloppy. Well, not too sloppy, but we want it too wet to handle and too dry to pour. With scones, you want to be able to handle the mixture and form them into um, shapes. And this is looking a little bit tiny piece dry. So I didn't put in the last drop of that and I put that in there now. Because again, depending on what you add into the mixture, if I add in um, more dry ingredients, I may find I need a little bit more milk. And if I add, add in a wet ingredient, like a fresh juicy pear, I may need a little less milk. So it's all about on the day, assess what you're doing and balance it and, and work it out, okay? That's looking pretty good to me. So I'm gonna, I'll just show you what that looks like now. And I'll be able to shape those with my, so you can see that there. So that's the way that is. I could shape that with my hand. But as you know, I have a really good trick for shaping my scones. I use the ice cream server and I put a little bit of milk on that. So I don't, this only takes me a few minutes as you can see. And I get a nice scoop. So it's the ice cream scoop that I use. I get a good scoop of the mixture and put it out. And I know from this mixture, I generally get 12 scones. So I'll put them out. And um, yeah, I just. And then I cook them in the oven at about 180 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. I find every oven is different. So I always check them in 15 minutes invariably they take 20 but because I every oven can be different and indeed my own oven the temperature varies from time to time I have learned it's very clever for me it's very sensible for me to check them after 15 minutes and you want your scones cooked through but the um, pear in this gives them a lovely sweetness and the almond it's just it's lovely and if you wanted you could do apple and cinnamon you can do cranberry and ginger and coconut. You could do ginger and orange or whatever flavors you like. You have the basic recipe now. You can just add whatever you like onto it. So now they're all out like this. And then I'm just going to put the icing on the cake literally by getting some flaked almonds. Oops, a daisy. And I'm going to pour them in or pop them in on top. Okay, so they will be in on top of the scone. I'm literally placing flaked almonds on top of the scone. I get a few more. But I didn't put that many in the mixture. And if you don't have them, you know, if you have no almonds, flaked almonds, you could even make them, the almond essence will give it the almond taste. But I love the texture of the crunch of a nut. And then I also always think, well, nuts are so good for us. We're giving ourselves a bit of goodness. Then I'm just going to, my hands are really clean. All I have is the scone mixture on them. With this milk, I'm just going to dabble along the top, kind of giving it a little bit of a glaze. And there I go. And there are my scones ready to go into the oven. And I will check them in 15 minutes. And I'll be back to you. Okay. Now, hi, back again. 20 minutes up, I'm going to see what these are like. I checked them at 15, they weren't quite ready. So here we go, 20 minutes, pop scones out of the oven. Delish. So I'm going to pop them on, on my tray and um, then I will just, uh, I've washed my hands there, just I'm not wasting my seconds showing you washing my hands. Remember at this time of COVID, we need to keep washing our hands for the 20 seconds. I have to say my hands feel a bit raw. From all the washing but I, I use hand cream then on it so there are our scones and then just to top them off I love a little bit of icing sugar and these make a fabulous gift if there's someone who's isolated or alone you could make a little uh, batch of these and um, leave a few at their door and there you go enjoy and remember you know I, I talked about keeping well at this time exercise you can't beat exercise having a laugh 
and thinking of other people. Eating well is so important and if you can get your between five to seven fruit and veg a day um, and water, drink plenty of water, particularly in the mornings, um, hopefully you'll feel good. Anyway, I hope you'll try these and if you do, I hope they work out. Remember, sometimes they're brilliant, sometimes they're not, but it's all the fun and trying and sometimes even when things aren't, don't work out the way they should, like my dinner last night, it was still good enough. Okay, see you soon.